If you need any Xbox or PlayStation codes or anything gaming related, check the referral links down in the description. They'll take you to G2A.com. They already have a discount on most of their goods already. And with the code CHES at checkout, you can get yourself an extra 3% off as well. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number 131 of my player here on FIFA 15. We start with a home game for England against Northern Ireland. This is a, a qualifying game for the European Championships in 2020. So fingers crossed we can get a decent result. As you can see, we're starting up top alongside Wayne Rooney. After this one, we actually have a game against Belgium, who, as you saw from the previous screen... It will uh, sit just behind us in the group stage, as you can see. Well, I say just behind us. They're second, but we are a full seven points clear. And uh, these two games will be seventh and eighth. And then there are just two more before a qualification is complete. And so far, we've won five and drawn one. So we are definitely in the hot seat for that top spot. And we should find ourselves in Euro 2020 once we uh, pick up, hopefully, three points in this one and three points against Belgium. Should guarantee it, actually. I'm hoping to play in both games. If not, unfortunately, we may find ourselves having uh, only the one game in today's episode as we have an international special and then we'll jump back tomorrow to uh, the Depot game and the Villarreal games should we be selected of course considering we were dropped for the first round of the uh, round of 16 of the Europa League against Manchester City so uh, fingers crossed though we are selected for both England games we've been extremely important for our club this season hopefully we can be extremely important for our country now as well here's Rooney slots it through to Lallana I'll call for the through ball here got loads of space Rooney's in some space as well, but we've opened up the chance. Left foot shot. Oh, it's flashed just wide. Thought we were going to get the opening opportunity and the opening goal of the game inside just four minutes. Keeper's got the same haircut as me. Nice shot on the left foot. Just pulled it slightly and uh, bent it away from goal. If I'd have been able to put my foot straight through it, that should have arrowed into the bottom corner. Hopefully, that's a sign of things to come, though, and we'll be able to create another goal-scoring opportunity without too much problem in the next few minutes. Rooney into me. Lalana's making moves in front of us. He's had his shirt tugged there, and the referee is going to give us the free kick. Dangerous position as well for a set piece, and it will be Rooney to take it. Pretty much slap bang in the middle of the pitch. Can he put it into the corner of the goal net? Uh, no, he's going to find the wall. But I could win the header and have done. We'll drop it to Ross Barkley. He may even use me again here, and he has done, but there's not too much space. I'm not really too sure where to go. We'll use the man waiting there on the edge of the box. It's Jack Wilshere. Is he going to use me again? No, he's turned his side really nicely. Actually, Jack Wilshere could have a shot here. He's found Barkley. Barkley has the shot off the inside of the post, and Winchester gets it away. Wow, two brilliant opportunities in the opening 10 minutes or so. And unfortunately, Ross Barkley shot... A, pff, an inch or so away from uh, making it 1-0. If that had been an, a further inch to the left, it would have hit the inside of the post and gone in rather than hitting the inside of the post and coming out. We may still get another opportunity here. I'll give it back to Jack Wilshere. Just trying to open up some space. There's not really too much about. I'm just going to give it a crack then. We'll try it. Oh, brilliant save by Lee Camp. What a touch over the bar. That was phenomenal. How's he got up to that? I think it was going wide, but... Oh, wow, phenomenal save. Absolutely brilliant. I was going to swear there and I held it back. Phenomenal save from Lee Camp there. Absolute fingertip stuff to get it over the bar. Uh, that's not going to come my way and he's come to claim that as well. Brilliant goalkeeping and that keeps it at nil-nil. Barkley down the line for Rooney. Obviously our former teammate from when we were at Manchester United into Ross Barkley. He was our teammate last year, as in FIFA 14 on my player when we were at Everton. We actually linked up very well with him during our spell there. But we're playing the ball about nicely here. Lalana spreading it out wide to uh, John Flanagan, who's in loads of space. Will he be able to get the cross in, though? They're marking him well, shadowed by two players. And we are going to pick up the throw in. We might. I'm going to come short, shall I? Or is he going to use Lalana? He will use Lalana. Adam, oh, and that's a nice turn to get down the line, and we will pick up a corner then instead. Set pieces galore right now for this England side. We just can't seem to get the goals to go in front. Wilshi is going to be the man to take the corner. And what's he going to do with it? The keeper came and claimed the last corner. Very good uh, leap from uh, Winchester there to head that away. But Fabian Delph has found the ball at his feet on the edge of the box. Kyle Walker finds me. We'll try a cheeky little turn there that's worked wonders, but the shot, unfortunately, is nowhere near as good as the bit of skill to create the opportunity in the first place. Here's McKay down the left-hand side for Northern Ireland. They've not really threatened so far in this game, but if Stephen Davis can get in a good ball, then they may actually stand a chance of going in at half-time with a lead. Still waiting for uh, Davis to get the ball in, and Ross Barkley puts in a good challenge. Advantage given, though, was a strong challenge, but I didn't really see anything wrong with it, but referee did. McKay over to Norwood. Oh, with a good opportunity there. If he'd have just paid attention to the flight of the ball, they could have been in to get themselves a goal-scoring opportunity there. 
Walker to Sturridge, who, as you can tell from the top left, has just come on for Wayne Rooney and immediately gotten himself an assist. I'm going to go and celebrate with Daniel Sturridge. He's been on the pitch seconds, literally came on the pitch, received that throw in, crossed the ball in, and we're 1-0 up. An instant impact from Daniel Sturridge. Crossed on his weaker right foot as well, but a brilliant header from us. We're only a couple of headers away from an accomplishment now. I think that's actually the 28th of the 30 that we need for an accomplishment, I'm pretty sure. I can uh, check after the game, though, in my accomplishments tab. But really pleased with that header. And it's England 1, Northern Ireland 0. The goal took its while in coming. But uh, fortunately, Sturridge had the impact we needed and gave us the instant uh, cross and the instant assist. Very well done at Roy Hodgson. Perfect substitution. Winchester stands it up into the box. More in hope than expectation, I think. And they've pushed a lot of men forward here. If I can win this header... Well, I'm not too sure whether I did or not, but Sturridge has come away with the ball, which was the intended recipient. Daniel Sturridge racing away into the box. Is he going to go for the shot rather than the pass? He is. There was two of us in the middle. You might as well apologise, Daniel. Myself and Adam Lallana are in the middle waiting for a cross just to tap it into an empty net. And he's gone a little bit greedy there, Studge, which is, to be fair, quite realistic and had the shot. And uh, unfortunately for him, hit the side netting, not the back of the net. Davis to Mackay. He's gone for the return ball, Stephen Davis, but Mackay's turned inside. Johnny Evans pushing forward from centre-back. I am on my own on the halfway line. If we win the ball off them, which we have done, and we can keep the ball away from them. Oh, the shot comes in, though. It's going to be a goal kick. Nice attempted overhead kick there. Not the best of techniques, but it still ended up... Oh, well, no, actually, it was a lot further away than I thought it was. It was a decent effort, though. Might as well have a go when you're 1-0 down. But I was on my own on the halfway line there. And had we cleared it away, I'm pretty sure we would have been able to uh, score a second goal. Stud's going to win this header. He has. We're going to keep possession. Less than, or just over, actually, five minutes to go as Kyle Walker runs off the pitch with the football. Hopefully, we can hold out for our 1-0 lead, uh, or hold out our 1-0 lead to get the 1-0 win. Smalling down the line to Walker, inside to Wilshire. I'm going to call for this from Ravel Morrison, because I really want to have a fancy crack from distance. Oh! Oh, I thought it got in. I thought it got in. Oh, panicked. Oh, well, not panic. I thought that was dipping and was going to go into the into the back of the net, and it didn't. It hit the, the top of the net. Oh, my heart raced there. Absolutely jumped. I thought, I thought, well, my initial intention was just give it a crack because the final whistle was about to go, because why not? And then we very nearly ended up with a goal. Final whistle's gone then, and we do get the 1-0 victory over Northern Ireland at Wembley. Really pleased to have gotten the goal that gave us that victory as well. We had six shots in that game, apparently. I don't remember having uh, a full six, but uh, still, very dominant in that game, England. We just perhaps did, or should have deserved, actually, a, a couple extra goals. But if Daniel Sturridge had maybe passed it rather than trying to shoot with that opportunity at the near post, then maybe we could have gotten a second and made it even more secure. But we'll see if we're selected for the game against Belgium. We're not. We've been dropped. It's Danny Welbeck that takes our place. So we'll see how we get on in this second game against Belgium. A win here should guarantee us qualification through to the European Championships. It may even guarantee us... Uh, first place in the group, but uh, Dries Mertens has given Belgium the 1-0 lead and Ross Barkley's had to come off for Ravel Morrison after 60 minutes of injury. I'm just going to skip it. In fact, it's a 2-2 draw. Eden Hazard, at least I presume it's Eden, number 10, I, that will be Eden, has uh, went, or oh, he put them 2-1 up after Rooney equalised after 35 minutes and then Leighton Baines scored from the spot seven minutes later to give us a draw. Now I'll check the European groups. Uh, Ross Barkley injury news is up for three weeks with the Port Hamstring, unfortunately. I'll check the no, not other leagues. I'll check the group because that should be us guaranteed through to the next stage. Through to the next stage. Uh, through to the uh, championships. And uh, obviously with two games to go, because there are six teams, so five games or five teams to play against, home and away, ten games total. And in fact, we've actually nailed first spot as well by avoiding defeat against Belgium. We're seven points clear with only six available. So England have qualified for Euro 2020. And uh, we'll, I, well, I presume we won't be involved considering we weren't selected. Well, we were selected for the World Cup, but didn't actually go because apparently the game is glitched and you can't play in international tournaments. So I don't know whether we'll actually be able to play in the Euros. I'm not sure whether it's just a World Cup thing or whether it's a Euro thing as well. So we weren't selected for Euro 2016, so I'm not sure. You guys will actually have to let me know in the comment section down below. But so uh, that will bring today's international special to a close. Tomorrow, we'll play against Deportivo and Villarreal as we continue our assault and try and improve, actually, in the league to get ourselves back up towards top spot. 
although Real Madrid are a long way away. So I think second is going to be the best we can hope for. But four teams set there on 56 points with uh, eight games to go in the league. It's uh, particularly tight. So uh, who knows which way it's going to go, actually. I am looking forward to the run-in, and then we'll make a decision on our future by the time we get to the end of this season. But for now, thank you very much for watching. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check the channel page for anything you may have missed over the past few days. Of course, I will be streaming FIFA 15 career mode over on twitch.tv forward slash Chesnoy Gaming later tonight. So check the link in the description to my Twitch and follow over there to make sure you don't miss out. And uh, follow me on Twitter as well to keep up to date with everything that goes on with me. But for now, thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.